Welcome to this deep dive into natural language processing. You know, the kind of stuff that makes Siri understand what you're asking for, or lets Google translate entire websites with a click. We're talking about teaching machines to understand the language of us humans, messy grammar and all. Get ready to unravel the magic behind how machines make sense of language. All right, space cadets, let's kick off our NLP journey by exploring the atomic units of language, words. Just like atoms form the basis of matter, words are the fundamental building blocks of meaning in text. When we analyze text in NLP, we start by dissecting sentences into these individual words, a process called tokenization. Imagine a sentence like, the cat sat on the mat. Tokenization would break it down into, the cat sat on the mat. Each of these is a token. But hold on, there's more to words than meets the eye. We need to know their roles in a sentence. That's where part of speech POS tagging comes in. It's like giving each word a name tag that reveals its grammatical function. Is it a noun, a verb, an adjective? In our example, cat gets tagged as a noun, sat as a verb, and so on. This tagging helps us understand the sentence's structure and meaning. Think of it like classifying celestial objects. We don't just say, hey look, a bright thing in the sky, we identify it as a star, a planet, a galaxy. Similarly, POS tagging adds a vital layer of information to our understanding of words in a sentence. Tokenization and POS tagging are just the tip of the iceberg in our NLP adventure. They provide the foundation for more complex tasks like sentiment analysis, machine translation, and even chatbot development. Have you ever needed to find all the email addresses in a document or maybe extract phone numbers from a website? That, my friends, is the power of regular expressions, often shortened to rejects. It's like having a super-powered cosmic search engine for text. Rejects lets you define patterns using a special syntax. These patterns can be as simple as finding all instances of a specific word, or as complex as identifying complex structures like URLs or IP addresses. Let's say you want to find all the phone numbers in a document. A simple rejects pattern like DAR3, D3, D4 would do the trick. This pattern tells the computer to look for three digits, followed by a hyphen, then three more digits, another hyphen, and finally four digits. But rejects can do so much more than just find phone numbers. It's used extensively in NLP for tasks like cleaning data, tokenizing text, and even building rule-based systems for extracting information. Imagine cleaning up a data set filled with inconsistent formatting or extracting specific data points from a mountain of text. Regex is your trusty sidekick in these situations. In Python, you can unleash the power of regex using the re module. The re.findall function, for example, lets you find all occurrences of a pattern in a string. Mastering regular expressions is like adding a powerful tool to your NLP arsenal. It allows you to manipulate and analyze text with surgical precision. All right, word sleuths, let's put on our detective hats and dive into the fascinating world of morphological parsing. This branch of linguistics is all about dissecting words, breaking them down into their smallest meaningful units, morphemes. Think of morphemes as the atoms of words. Just like atoms combine to form molecules, morphemes come together to create the words we use every day. Take the word unbelievable, for example. Morphological parsing helps us see that it's actually made up of three morphemes, un, meaning not, believe, the root word, and able, meaning capable of. Morphological parsing is like using a linguistic microscope to examine the internal structure of words. It helps us understand how words are formed, how they relate to each other, and how their meanings change when we add or remove morphemes. This process is particularly useful for tasks like stemming and lemmatization, where we want to reduce words to their base forms. For example, stemming would reduce running, ran, and runner to the base form run. Lemmatization, on the other hand, would take into account the grammatical context and reduce them to run and runner respectively. So, the next time you encounter a word, don't just glance over it. Take a moment to appreciate its internal structure, Chapter 4, Types of Morphemes Unlocking the Building Blocks of Meaning We ventured into the world of morphemes, those tiny but mighty units of meaning. Now let's explore the different types of morphemes and how they work together to create the rich tapestry of language. Think of morphemes like Lego blocks. You have your basic blocks, the roots which carry the core meaning of a word. Then you have prefixes which attach to the beginning of roots to modify their meaning, and suffixes which do the same at the end. Let's take the word replaying as an example. The root is play, representing the action of engaging in an activity. The prefix re-signifies repetition, indicating that the action is happening again. And finally, the suffix ing tells us that the action is ongoing, happening in the present. Understanding these different types of morphemes is like having a secret decoder ring for language. By understanding the role of each morpheme, NLP systems can more accurately interpret the meaning of words and sentences. 
So the next time you encounter a word, don't just see a jumble of letters. Look for the roots, prefixes, and suffixes. Chapter 5. Context-Free Grammar Unraveling the Rules of Language We've explored the building blocks of language, words, and morphemes. Now let's zoom out and examine how these building blocks come together to form meaningful sentences. This is where context-free grammar or CFG takes center stage. Think of CFG as a set of blueprints for language. It provides a formal system for describing the rules that govern how words can be combined to create grammatically correct sentences. Just like a blueprint defines the structure of a building, CFG outlines the structure of language. CFG uses a set of rules called production rules to define how symbols can be replaced to form valid sentences. For example, a simple production rule might be, S can be formed by combining a noun phrase followed by a verb phrase. These rules can be combined and applied recursively to generate an infinite number of grammatically correct sentences. CFG is a fundamental concept in NLP, forming the basis for many parsing algorithms and language models. Chapter 6. Parse Trees. Visualizing the Architecture of Sentences. We've delved into the rules of language with context-free grammar. Now let's explore how we can visually represent the structure of sentences using parse trees. Imagine them as architectural blueprints for sentences, revealing their hierarchical organization. A parse tree is like a family tree for a sentence. It starts with the sentence as the root and branches out to show how it breaks down into smaller phrases and words. Each node in the tree represents a grammatical category like a noun phrase or a verb phrase, and the branches show how these categories are connected. Let's take the sentence, the dog chased the cat as an example. The parse tree would start with sentence as the root, it would then branch into a noun phrase the dog and a verb phrase, chase the cat. The noun phrase would further branch into a determiner, the, and a noun dog, while the verb phrase would branch into a verb chased and another noun phrase, the cat. Parse trees are incredibly useful for visualizing the grammatical structure of sentences making it easier to understand how the different parts fit together. In NLP, parsi trees are used extensively in syntactic parsing, which is the process of analyzing the grammatical structure of a sentence. Chapter 7. Building a Simple Parser from Theory to Code We've explored the theoretical underpinnings of parsing, now let's roll up our sleeves and build a simple parser in Python using the Natural Language Toolkit, or NLTK. Don't worry it's not as daunting as it sounds. We'll start by defining a simple context-free grammar using NLTK's grammar module. This CFG will outline the rules for our toy language, then we'll use NLTK's chart parser to create a parser that can analyze sentences based on our defined grammar. Our parser will take a sentence as input, tokenize it into individual words, and then try to build a parse tree based on the rules defined in our CFG. If the sentence is grammatically correct according to our grammar, the parser will output the parse tree visually representing the sentence's structure. This hands-on exercise will solidify your understanding of parsing and give you a taste of how NLP techniques can be implemented in code. So fire up your Python interpreter, import the NLTK library, and let's start building our parser. And that's a wrap on our whirlwind tour of foundational syntax and word-level concepts in NLP. We've journeyed from the atomic units of words to the intricate structures of sentences, uncovering the hidden rules that govern language. Remember, this is just the beginning of our NLP adventure. If you found this exploration helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop your questions or suggestions in the comments. Up next, we'll be tackling the fascinating world of semantics and meaning in language. See you there.